Hello, William Jewell College community. My name is Craig Walls, and I am married to the president of William Jewell College. And I am coming to you today because uh, amidst this uh, COVID crisis with the college being essentially closed, uh, although uh, students and are still doing their, their semester, but, but nothing's happening on campus right now. And uh, into that, uh, we all feel this distance and this inability to connect with students, faculty, staff. Uh, I want to offer something that I feel like I can offer, and that is to do a weekly devotion. This is the beginning of Holy Week uh, for Christians. Uh, it starts on Sunday leading to Easter next week. And so I want to start doing weekly devotions, very short, five to seven minutes. If hopefully this uh, is meaningful, helpful to you. If not, that's totally fine. I don't know how long I'll do it. We'll just see how it goes. But one of the things that Elizabeth and I really appreciated about when we uh, thought about coming to William Jewell was uh, Jewell's religious heritage. Uh, I'm coming to you from my office uh, at the John Priest Green Home, and uh, I just want to talk a shortly today about Palm Sunday. Um, that's what we're celebrating as we begin Holy Week. Uh, it, for Palm Sunday this this year, I was working with the, the gospel text in Matthew's gospel. I was actually scheduled to preach at a local congregation, which now I've had to do online. That's a challenge. Never done that before. We, we say that a lot about uh, the times we live in. Uh, but I was working with Matthew's gospel, which is a little unusual because in Matthew's gospel, unlike the other f three, uh, when Jesus asks for a, uh, a donkey, he also asks the disciples to, to get a colt as well, two animals. And there's some reasons for that. Uh, I think Matthew's trying to connect and, and to show that Jesus fulfills prophecy from the Old Testament. But regardless of what account we read uh, or how many animals are involved, if it's a donkey and a colt or just a donkey, the whole episode always makes me chuckle as I read it. And I, I've preached on it many times. But I imagine, I always put myself there, if I'm one of the disciples and I'm having to, to listen to Jesus and look at Jesus and he says, hey guys, I need two of you to go get a donkey, go procure a donkey. And while you're at it, get a colt too. And I don't have any money to give you, but just go there and you'll find one. And when you find the donkey, just tell him that the Lord needs it. And if I'm that person and I'm one of the disciples, my first thing is I raise my hand and I say, not it. I want no part of this task. Uh, I want no part of donkey duty. Because what Jesus is instructing the disciples to do is somewhat absurd. Um, you know, gives them no means to do it. Just trust that, you know, tell them that the Lord needs them. So you can picture that scene if you're a disciple and you got it, you trudge into Jerusalem or the outskirts of Jerusalem and you're looking to get a donkey. And Jesus hasn't been to Jerusalem since he was a, a kid. And this is supposed to be this triumphal entry. And you go and you knock on someone's door and you say, hey, Mr. Farmer, or, hey, Ms. Farmer, I need to take your donkey. And, and I, you know, also, I, I really need your colt as well. And I know that Everything you do in your livelihood depends on your animals and using your animals for farming and, and it's your way of life. But And I know you don't know Jesus and I know you don't know us and I know we don't have any money, but we're to tell you that the Lord needs them. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and, if, and if you doubt it's ridiculous, I invite you to go down to your local car dealer and go in and say, I need to talk to the sales manager. And then when you go see the sales manager, say, hey, I don't have any money and I know you don't know me but I need a car. And actually, I need two cars. And I'm to tell you that the Lord needs them. How's that going to go over? But here's the, the crazy part of the story is that while the, the Gospels don't necessarily agree on how many animals are involved, they do agree on the outcome. And the outcome is this, that they get the donkey. They come back with the donkey and the colt in Matthew's Gospel for Jesus to ride into Jerusalem. And so amidst this craziness of 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 Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Remember, it's it's Passover. It's a crazy time of year. Um, there's a lot of tension because it's occupied by the Romans, and there's this tension between the Jewish people and, and the Roman occupiers. And so there's there's this swirl happening. Um, and, and it's going to be Jesus' is the last week of his life, and it's going to end on Friday in a cross, and you have betrayals and denials and all the things that go into Holy Week. Basically, fear is gripping the world. And I know we can really relate to that right now as fear and, and uh, uncertainty has, has gripped our world and, and things change so rapidly. Um, and, and here in the midst of that, you have this nameless man and this name or woman, we don't know it's, uh, who it is, 
that they give the donkey to the disciples because the Lord needed them. And I'm fascinated by that. Why did the owner give the donkey? Would I have given the donkey? Uh, would I have done what they did? I'm not sure. I'd, I probably wouldn't have. I suspect the donkey owner had no idea what they were about to be a part of. They couldn't have known that they would be a part of Jesus' entry in, uh, in, into, into Jerusalem. This week, I think about as our world changes and swirls around us, as truly life and livelihood are hanging in the balance for, for many, many people, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and, and, and jobs for millions of people, I am moved. I am really moved by the owner of this donkey. I'm moved by this nameless person who does his or her part, who gives when they are asked, we know virtually nothing about the donkey owner, but we know this. Her generosity, his generosity, helped carry Jesus into J Jerusalem to remind the world that Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this whole Holy Week will not go like any of Jesus' followers had thought or hoped. He would end up dying. And then, of course, we have resurrection next Sunday. But but there is this sense that God is still in control of the world, that, 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 that there are people that will step forward to do God's work, even in difficult circumstances. The owner's generosity lives on forever as part of our history, as our cloud of witnesses and our faith. And I can't make sense of what's happening in our world today, and we don't know what will happen in the weeks to come. Will it be tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people who might lose their lives and be disrupted and, and everything that goes along with that? But what I do know, and this is what I know, is that the Lord still needs our donkey and our colt. God needs us to give what we can give. I don't believe God will ever ask us for what we can't give, but only what we can. And right now, the Lord needs them. The Lord needs all of us, and, and we need each other. We need each other to be a part of, of this time in this time. So I wish you blessings to the Jewel community during this Holy Week, and uh, I will see you again next week. Take care.